Okay, we're live. We're on the air, guys. This yeah. Come town. Come town. Eight. Is it eight? Eight or eight. nine? Eight. It's eight. It's eight. This is the. Oh, uh, these are now paid episodes. We have. Did you see we have donations? Hell yeah, now? bitch. How much did we get? Uh, know, something like million. seventy dollars a month. Hey. People are have pledged. That's great. Which is That's not bad. Really you know? good. <laughs> yeah. It's more than zero. Thank you. To Which whoever, is, uh, whatever uh, people in basements out there <laughs> sent us hey, their parents' whoa. money. You know what? I was kind of depressed because I was like, yeah, this will be cool. We'll set up a thing. And then the names started coming in. It's like people that I'm friends with. <laughs> oh. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> Give me uh, your money. Nah, you, that's all right. We'll take, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll I need. Uh, it's basically like they're paying for my like social skills surgery, <laughs> <laughs> and like an emer- like a like terminal autism, and they're donating to, you know, letting us pretend like we have a real radio show. We have a real radio show. We're in the top of the Empire State Building at the Anthony Cumia Studios. Oh no, yeah, true. come the, on, man. The the rattlesnake den. <laughs> the ra- yeah, the ra- Puerto Rican snake rattlesnake pit. den. It's in the yeah. snake pit. The what's den in Spanish? Uh, abuela? Is it abuela? <laughs> al, um, al hombre. Uh, every word in Spanish is abuela, guys. <laughs> um, you know what's funny is like sometimes I'll try to be racist and I'll add O to the end of a word to like make it Spanish. And yeah. it turns out to just be the word. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got restauranto. That's it. I don't think that's the name of restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. Librario. Librario. That's it's Biblioteca. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a famous one. I feel like everyone goes to Biblioteca. Yeah. When I was in Spanish class in uh, in middle school, uh, me and my friends thought we were really clever, so we made up a gang. We're like we're los las mariposas, the butterflies. <laughs> we thought that was hilarious, and like all like all like we kept making jokes like oh las mariposas, they're gonna get you. And then like my teacher couldn't take it like midway through the semester, and she just like slammed a book down. She's like, that means the homosexuals. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you had no idea it was slang for gay man. Yeah, we didn't know that. So you're gay. Was the, I mean, it That's was pretty the butterflies. good. We didn't think it sounded too hard. That's pretty artful. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the rule with like uh, Maricon and Cabron? Mm-hmm. It's like the two of them. It's a Peruvian guy told me like 10 years ago, but he's like, you know, like if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them Cabron. Like that's like a term of endearment or whatever mm-hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South America or like other Spanish speaking people Cabron. Because really? like Cabron apparently just means like top faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to be yeah, a Cabron. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. And then Maricone is like the bottom one. But that's only Oh, like, you mean top, like top yeah, and bottom. He's like top like and bottom. So ass. it's like you're like a pimp if you say it to a Mexican. No, I don't I didn't check any of this. <laughs> Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name? At a bus station no i worked with him i mean we took the bus together but i worked with him so maybe he did tell me at it the bus was station. on a bus it was on a bus it was a peruvian as a fat peruvian kid i love it and i swear to god his name was nick nolte <laughs> <laughs> he told me he wrote that down as his name on a thing and i was like no way that's hilarious like, you put that down that's a good reference dude that that's was a cool bad. that was yeah. a solid reference Sexiest cape fear i love it and then he was like what and i was like that's not your name and he was like yeah it is and he was also a pathological liar mm. and he we were i think we were talking about that the other day it's like pathological liars about yeah they about have all these bullshit stories and diesel. then one of their stories will be like real oh yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah, like yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real he's got like pictures of him and the chimp he's got blood all over his face but yeah no so he pulls out his id and there it says nick nolte spelled the same way spelled the, exactly the same way that's and awesome it, yeah and i was like that's insane he's like like, yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Unless their whole family is all just like, you know, Cher and <laughs> Madonna. This is my aunt Madonna. <laughs> Did you this know my that aunt uh, Marcus Dudu Brown was a family name? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I don't Doo-doo want to Brown. shit on Marcus. He's yeah, I don't want to doo on Marcus. There we go. Marcus is a good comic. <laughs> He's I like very Marcus. Funny. Um, we're still drinking coffee, guys. Uh, we got the Rift Juice. Rift Juice. Starbucks. Woo. Let me get a Grande Rift Juice. Um, 
But uh, yeah, uh, so Maricon is the bottom one. Mm, Cabron. Cabron is the top one. Yeah, that's such an awesome term of endearment. Yeah, it's like you fuck a man in the power ass. top. You're yeah. my boy, dude. <laughs> you fuck your yeah. my bottom. You Mexicans have cool slang, ass. dude. They're cool. What else they you got? You know what I don't understand? Uh, what What's the proper term? Is it you? Can, uh, Mexicans fine. You can say that. Yeah, right. Mex- you know, it feels a little weird. You know, it's but funny. Yeah. It felt weird. Yeah, because like growing up, most of the people I knew that were like Hispanic were like you had to call them Hispanic because they could be from Venezuela, right, or, right, right, or you know, El Salvador, mixed bag in, uh, yeah, yeah, in, uh, Salvador, or whatever, Colombia. But then I moved to Texas, and people yeah. in Texas are like, "Oh, there's a bunch of Mexican guys that live yeah, here." Yeah, I was like, "Keep the, your voice down." I grew up in the Southwest, so, yeah. yeah, that was, and they're exactly all Mexican, yeah, yeah. so you could call them. That. Really, you didn't yeah, have yeah. any like, fucking Mexican, Uruguayans, yeah. any, any any Spanish that. person. But you what just is? Say, Look at the fucking Mexican over there. But it's like Puerto Rican people are like, oh, I'm Mexican, man. Well, I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Uh, what is Chicano? Is that if you're like for, you're from Chicago? Is that like <laughs> Chirac? If you're in Chirac, but you're Mexican? Chicano, Chicano, I feel like it means you're wearing like a velvet shirt. Yeah, it's a clothing thing, like a vato. I feel like no silk. No, vato just means dude. Chicano is like yeah. they uh, like I identify as Chicano. Oh really? Yeah. I Chicano got... is Chicano is on par with Hispanic or Mexican or wow, Latino. This is how stupid I am. I think Chicano. I just think the guy the from <laughs> the Jesus the Jesus character from uh, uh, fucking. Help me out here. The bowling. Mo- I can't believe. I'm oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Lebowski. <laughs> Lebowski. Yeah. When you say Chicano, you know the bowling movie. <laughs> Bo- yeah, the famous Jesus. bowling movie. Yeah. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh yeah. You when you say don't know Ch- any words, when you say Chicano. <laughs> that's what I think for some reason, and I bet I can't wait to Google it later and find out how I, wrong I am. I think. Uh, I think Michael Chiklis. <laughs> I think Chicano is like the me- the Mexican uh, term for Michael Chiklis. I think about that movie Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah. So if you look <laughs> like Michael, if you're Hispanic but you look like Michael Chiklis, <laughs> you're, you're Chicano. Sure, you're if you're like bald, like if you're like a bald, portly Latino guy, you're, how, that's what Chicano is. And how short do you think? Uh, he seems very short. Four foot eleven, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he was 4'11". You know. And then like when little... he goes on talk shows, he goes, or as I like to call it, five foot negative one. <laughs> he like winks. That's good. Yeah. That's everyone applauding. Chickless, great talk show guest. We'll yeah. have him on. We'll, we'll have him on. on. Yeah, yeah, we got Chickless coming Is Chickless short? We're going to make fun of him. He's, he's like the same height as us. No, nah, no, nah, I think he's short. Yeah. He looks like a testicle. He does. Somebody described Bob Hoskins that way one time. That he looks like a testicle. Yeah, an angry <laughs> testicle. That's pretty good. You know what's funny? We're he like s- died loathing the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> oh, poor guy. <laughs> that so movie was that. so bad. It was Dude, really bad. It, everything about it was awful. That might have been the most underwhelming celebrity death of all time. Bob, Bob Hoskins? Hoskins. Yeah. What happened? He was nobody, in a lot of really good movies. He's a, he was an amazing actor. Yeah, he was. He was really talented, mm-hmm. and he died, and nobody gave a shit. Yeah. When did he die? He died like two years ago, mm-hmm. and on the anniversary of his death last year articles about his death started coming up and people were like oh my god Bob Hoskins died well that's what happened dude I feel like literally in like a year this past year everyone claims they loved every celebrity Mm -hmm. like it used to be there'd be like a status here or there but everyone's writing an essay now I don't fucking like were people that important to you doesn't it feel like it just became a thing I mean some of them were like you know, Muhammad Ali's big. Sure. Prince Bowie, is big. Prince. The those fucking were big. Not bad here. guy from Harry Potter. That one was stupid. Yeah. Snape? Yeah. Well, he was a he wasn't the bad die guy. hard. <laughs> I don't know. He ended up being the good guy. You <laughs> fucking illiterate piece of shit. You'd yeah. well, <laughs> be illiterate to see a movie. <laughs> yeah, he starred in a book. Dude, there's a new <laughs> Harry. He starred in a book, dude. He was also, they had pictures of him. There's a, there's a new Harry Potter coming out, so looks like your boy's about to read a book, dude. The boys are back <laughs> Is the there library. a new there's a new one coming out? I think, yeah. She's making mad hair. Hell yeah, dude. dude. That bitch was. ain't rich enough. JK, get yours, girl. Um, you never read any Harry Potter, bitch, dude? Me? Little no. Mullen? No. What were you doing, dude? Making um, fun of retarded children? No, I think I read... Uh, I read, At eleven, what were you doing? Heroin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I, 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 I read books. Well, no, I didn't really read that many books. I guess the, the books I read as a kid were like, I guess Goosebumps was like elementary Hell yeah, school. Yeah, Goosebumps. Hell yeah. The, uh, what was it? Fear Street. That was I read maybe one of those. Those were like the more mm-hmm. hardcore ones, right? Yeah, and then yeah, I would read yeah. the shit we were assigned in school. The only shit I really remember reading outside of school was like C.S. Lewis stuff, um, Ender's Game. Mm-hmm. I read all those Ender's mm-hmm. Game books. 
But the, the, he came out with like nine other books after like a resurgence in the popularity of those books. Like yeah. When I was Cash in grab. middle school. Yeah. Because I remember Ender's Game was that came out in the 80s. And I remember reading mm-hmm. that when I was in like third grade. And then like again when I was in fifth grade. And then they released like a whole, you know, you know what it was? It was an additional series based on one of the characters from Ender's mm-hmm. Game. A little spin-off, Frasier, the Frasier. Yeah, the Ender's actually, Game. actually it was Frasier. It was the novelization <laughs> of Frasier. <laughs> Niles. Yeah. Let's Niles, go. there's aliens. We have to fuck these book, aliens. My favorite books growing up were uh, that mo- that book, uh, Fudge. Do you remember? Hell yes, yeah. Fudge Dude, I Mania fucked with Fudge. And uh, Judy Ma- Mein Kampf. <laughs> Mein Kampf. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it had to be That's Fudge good, or Mein Kampf. Well, they're both remember. like coming of age stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hitler sure. gets his period. Yeah. That's a big chapter. They're <laughs> both they're both written in prison. <laughs> you know what I never understood? <laughs> Judy, Judy Bloom was in prison. Judy Bloom doing time for a fucking yeah, manslaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Not to get into conspiracy theories here, Let's but hear like, it. how was it that Anne Frank was the only person with a diary? <laughs> that was that the only just one. Off the hardest, there couldn't. Be, there was not a better. She got her period in it. Yeah, she, I've never Judy read Blue, it. Speaking never of read Judy it. Bloom and getting your period, mm-hmm. I was like really into those fudge books. And then I got "Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret." One summer, like do, my parents made me do the fucking summer reading club or whatever. Of course, and I, think my I read it, and it's about getting your period for the first time. So like, I had a bunch of questions from my parents. And my mom literally took me to the library and yelled at the librarian in front of me. <laughs> it was so humiliating. <laughs> it was Don't so Don't you humiliating. ever tell my boy about How girls. How dare you? <laughs> my this mom, is a young adult novel. This should not be an easy reader. <laughs> my mom uh, like, it, like, struggled to quit smoking for years, and she finally did. And then she was like all about anti-smoking. And she chewed out the ice. She like sc- was screaming at the Nigerian ice cream truck man <laughs> for like bringing candy cigarettes to the neighborhood. She's like, "How fucking dare you sell these, you piece of shit!" And like, I'm like mortified. Of course, yeah. Like, I didn't even want those. I wanted the fucking Ninja Turtle with bubblegum eyes. Oh, the know? best one. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah. I didn't, yeah, yeah best one. I didn't want the candy cigarettes. It tasted like shit. They were awful. Candy cigarettes, but they were cool. You could do smoke. They you were could cool. just pretend to smoke. They were so cool. Fucking <laughs> set my mom off. <laughs> I remember uh, when I, I was, we lived in LA and like after baseball games, we'd get like, you know, pieces of apple slices and like granola mm-hmm. and stuff. And then we moved to Vegas and like we get like fucking cheeseburgers and like yeah. people like bring McDonald's and like the kids would go yeah. fucking nuts for McDonald's. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Mickey D's sick. after yeah. a soccer game. That was my shit, dog. Yeah. I was good at I was No, it was funny. I remember that. You play baseball and then my dad would like take me to seven eleven and I'd get like the largest slurpy size. <laughs> yeah. After like baseball practice. <laughs> yeah. Baseball is like the <laughs> lowest yeah, I mean, impact I sport. I know. I know. You're barely like fucking no running for it. You just it. stand there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, horrible. Even fucking Gatorade is just sugar. Yeah. Well, you well, need it. It's got the Gatorade's electrolytes. Yeah. electrolytes dude. It's got the electrolytes. Gatorade Isn't you need if you get the flu or something. Yeah. I just had a pretty wicked stomach virus. You did? Yeah, Yeah, it's going around, guys. Listen, fans, if you're out there, (laughs) don't get the stomach flu. This is the Come Town Health Minute. Yeah. Did Uh, you see that thing that Red Cross did? They released that, like, Red Cross got in trouble this week because they put, like, a... Like a pool safety, just some fucking pool safety poster that they like tweeted out. And it's a picture of a pool with like things you should do in the pool versus things you shouldn't do in the pool. So it's like someone running and it's pointing at the kid running and it says not cool. And then it's like a guy holding his baby and it says cool. Uh, but every one of the not cool ones is a black person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Is it a real picture? Or is it like no, it's a brown cartoon? cartoon? Yeah. That's. It would be great so if it awesome. was just... Because then you couldn't complain if it yeah. was just a photograph someone happened to take of a pool right. and all the black people had to happen to be doing breaking all the rules. <laughs> you can't help that. That's not the Red Cross's fault. <laughs> the cartoons were all brown. <laughs> it's the white guys who weren't breaking any of the rules. Did and you know what's funny? is like Shackleford, man. Hell yeah. So all these people are mad at the Red Cross... There is absolutely no way in hell that was on purpose. Right. No way. There's no, no way at all. Deaf, yeah. yeah. And, but what's so funny so is, is funny. that they were like, they probably did one draft and they're like, ah, put more black people in there so people don't get mad about us for like not being you know diverse yeah. enough. 
And then, uh, and then that backfired. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if it was some guy who was like, this is how I get him. <laughs> this yeah. is how we set him back. Finally. This is yeah. last day. Their favorite place, the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. <laughs> this is like when that, that guy, that guy tweeted that picture, the, the United Airlines account tweeted that picture, the woman with the with toy, the with the toy yeah. plane in her pussy. <laughs> with the, oh, the plane You remember that pussy. shit? Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, that was incredible. That's the best way to quit your job. I love the auto fucking... When someone has their shit set up for auto retweets, and it's just like, the Beatles fucking suck dick, yeah. and then the Beatles <laughs> thing will just retweet it. Yeah. It's the best shit on earth. Yeah, I love seeing that uh, shit. Corporate man. Twitter accounts are still figuring it out. Remember that? What was the makeup account? There's some makeup company uh, when the Aurora shooting happened in Colorado, <laughs> oh, hell and they yeah. were like, "Aurora's trending. That must be our new Aurora makeup." Line. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Hell and then the yes. makeup they tweeted. Guess what, guys? It was the Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> they tweeted the Joker makeup. They tweeted out a tutorial of how to do your own Joker makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Um, oh, fuck. So the um, we yeah. had a bunch planned today, but we wiped it clean because there was a big news event on Friday it dropped. Oh right, of course. Yeah, Brexit. Right. Oh, is that how you pronounce it? What do you say? I thought it was Breshi. <laughs> Breshi? Breshi. Well, it's about Breshi, Europe. the first book of the Torah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You don't have to do all these Jew jokes that we don't get. <laughs> I'm sorry. Neither I'm of sorry. us have read the Torah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. There aren't any Jews. Keep it. Was there a Jew version of C.S. Lewis books? I was so pissed off when I found out that those were all like Christian I know yeah, those yeah. allegories I was like what thing. I thought you made up all this cool you shit you tricked me into liking this a shit a big mouse that does sword fighting and it's like that's Paul or something yeah yeah, yeah. Jesus was a lion clearly yeah, the right. lion yeah yeah, yeah, that shit is so fucking gay, dude. I hate when I yeah. get tricked into liking so, Christianity. Shit. Oh man, I so I, I sorry. Uh, I just remembered I did extra work on Jermaine Fowler's sketch comedy show <laughs> like a year ago. Friends of the people. Yeah, and uh, so I don't know if have either of you been extras in anything? No, no. It's the funniest. I'm show. always the fucking star. I'm the baby. star of the show. <laughs> uh, it's the funniest shit in the world. So like all the people that. Most of the people doing extra work, it's like, it's it's actually, it's an easy job. Yeah. And if you're a union, you get like 150 bucks a day, and you mostly just sit around. If you like freelance or something, mm -hmm. it's great. You bring your laptop, you can like just write. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't really have to do shit. You're in like a scene for maybe like five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Do they feed um, you? Yeah, you get free food, you know. You get uh, your dick sucked. And then 10% of the people there, <laughs> okay, so yeah, like 89% of the people are... You know, just like just they jobs. know what's up. Ten percent are, uh, you know, trying to be serious actors, <laughs> and then one percent are like batshit insane. <laughs> Mentally course. ill. Just yeah, like yeah. there was this one time I was in in holding for a show, and there's this woman with like aviator sunglasses on, rail thin, like anorex, is like very tall, lanky. You know, just veins everywhere. Just a very vascular, creepy yeah, woman. Yeah. She's like hunched over like a fucking gargoyle on her chair. And some guy was like, uh, oh, well, my friend uh, David Richards, he's a writer. He's like talking to somebody quietly. And from across the room, she goes, oh, yeah, I know him. He raped me. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking uh, Yeah, Christ. I know him. He raped me back in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus. I don't know. What are we fuck. supposed to do with that? Yeah. And then they start talking. She's like, oh, never mind. This must be a different guy. And it was like somebody with the same name. or she Was confused. Was he a manager at a Chili's in Newark? <laughs> yeah. The only uh, set job I've had is the one you got me when yeah, we were yeah, truck yeah. boys. Truck boys, dude. Uh, well, Didn't you have a good extra? Well, I was about to tell, oh, okay. I was yeah, about yeah, to tell yeah. an extra story. I forget what the fucking lead into it was. I think we were talking about that. Oh, yeah, the Jesus allegory thing. But there was this one guy at that Friends of the People thing who just had, like, 90s asshole hair, you know? Oh, like, yeah. Bo yeah, yeah. like, both of his parents were named Zach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, a fucking, like, always wearing eyes odd. Like, like penis eyes haircut. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. 90s penis yeah, yeah, haircut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which is a very, like, like, a very nicely shaped glands <laughs> helmet of hair. <laughs> and, like, nice. anytime they would call cut, he would immediately turn and face the camera. And you could see him on all the monitors and no one's paying attention oh my god just trying to fucking ignore him and uh and then i had to fucking listen to oh yeah was, so i went into uh uh yeah i forgot what okay yeah we're sitting and holding and one of the producers comes in and like they tell us like okay guys so basically the sketch idea is like 
And I don't want to shit on the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, but like they're just telling you the pitch of the sketch. So mm-hmm. it's like even even if the funniest show in the world, if they just tell you like here's the idea. You're like, okay, you're not gonna laugh at yeah, it, right? Like, right whatever. Right, it's yeah. just the you know they're just telling you. So he's just going losing on. it. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, uh, okay, so basically the setup is like uh, you know um, they're throwing a house party and the president shows up, Barack Obama shows up, and he eats all the food. And, uh, <laughs> and again, I don't want to shit on the show, but you know, so everyone's why. Why are you prefacing and that? And then this guy, he like leans in. He physically leans in and he's like, oh, wow, that's so great. And I had to like, you know, step out of the room for a second to like, you know, call him a slur under my breath. <laughs> yeah. Like laugh at him. And I come back in and the producer's talking to him and she goes, no, uh, President Obama won't actually be here. <laughs> 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 he, like, oh my he, thought, God. he thought the president of the United States <laughs> was going to pop in. He's going to do a quick drop in. Or, you know, spend a day shooting a sketch where he eats too many Cheetos. <laughs> right, for True for, TV. For True TV. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, no, we were leaving. Uh, That's so we good. were in like a van back to the city or whatever at the end of the day. And like somebody was talking about something. And, and you know, he's like, well, what is your favorite film? And they were like, oh, The Matrix or something. And that guy goes, you know, that uh, that whole story is actually an allegory for Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes, and then bitch. And he starts describing the Matrix parallels. And how it's actually I mean, it sort Jesus. of is. He's not wrong. Yeah. No, Two those, and three are just chosen uh, one? Christ yeah, yeah. allegory. Oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, isn't the license plate like a... Yeah, yeah. It's like a biblical reference. When we can't Smith. criticize it because they're both trans, so... Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. yeah the other one's trans, trans now, yeah, too. yeah. 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 Um, so is it the Wachowski sisters? Yes. This is, well, no, just the Siblings. Wachowskis. You the just w- say the Wachowskis. Is that their chosen pronoun? Yeah, yeah. Just what the, are the name. odds? Yeah. The pronouns. Um, what are the odds? It's really you, true. How, hey, let me ask you this, though. Do you think they would have transitioned if the second two movies had been better? <laughs> <laughs> if they had been better movies, as good as the first one? They're sitting with their PR guy, and they're like, look... <laughs> We need to get a little traction Speed right racer now. Speed <laughs> bombed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, God damn it. You said we w- if, I wouldn't yeah. have to. If they had never Hirsch. gotten funding for the Animatrix, would they have transitioned? <laughs> I, uh, I watched uh, Speed Racer, their Speed Racer on Mushrooms once, and it was... Intense? So scary. I mean, I had to turn yeah. it off. I tried, watching, <laughs> I tried watching Super Jail on Mushrooms. I don't oh, know why shit. I thought that would be a good idea. Isn't that the show that on purpose fucks with you? Like, yeah, on it's like, like even when you're sober, you're like, you feel kind of disturbed. Right. It's great. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. But yeah, yeah, yeah I tried yeah. watching that on mushrooms. And I had to leave the room. <laughs> that was too much. Yeah, Yo, you remember Jose Extreme Parking? Oh God, that guy was the best. We'll talk about Jose real quick. All right, so Nick Nick gets me a job. He's like, you just got to sit in the passenger seat <laughs> of this truck. That's basically it. And then we, we got to move things like a couple times. But you just hang out on this truck. In the middle of the day, they're like, yeah, we're going to need you to get your own 16-foot truck and drive it around Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> just alone? Just in a massive Oh, you truck. were alone? But yeah, no, yeah. Nick alone. wasn't with Yeah, you? they split us yeah. up. For starters, they, the truck they made us pick up, it was like a 20-foot truck. And normally, the trucks are 14-foot. Right. And like a 20 foot truck, you don't need a CDL until it reaches like, I don't know, it's a weight thing, but basically like a 30 foot truck. Right. But the difference between 14 and 20 oh, feet is huge when you're driving yeah. that truck. Because they're get also in that wider thing. too. Yeah, like, you get in that thing and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be driving this fucking truck. No, yeah. Especially around Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd feel weird driving in like the fucking Baltimore suburbs yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. in the middle of fucking... And you guys were right in the mix. Dude. We Where had was a, this? We were like in Midtown driving these massive <laughs> trucks alone. Yeah, <laughs> Midtown. I just lied like, my way into this job. Nick said I just have to sit in the It's not even seat. a lying thing. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They yeah. don't give a shit. They hire whoever. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I got a friend, Brent. He'll do it. And then it's like, okay, we'll go pick up $2 million worth of camera and lighting equipment. <laughs> and they're like, no, we already signed for it. And then just park the truck wherever. They don't even like, give you instructions on where to park so, the yeah, truck. So, yeah. So, like, we had a 5 a.m. call. They're like... Yeah, it's our responsibility to park the trucks, and so, like, we're supposed to park them in, like, you know, lots or whatever. Um, we had a 5 a.m. call. There's this dude that's just, like, wide awake. We get there to park the trucks, and he's just, like, screaming at people, like, moving trucks, like, air tra- traffic controlling. And uh, 
Like I get it. He like screams at me to move the truck and then I get out and he's like, anyway, man, sorry. I yelled at you. Um, my name is Jose. I'm a small business owner. <laughs> um, I own my own company. It's called extreme parking. <laughs> well, he didn't, he didn't tell us. He showed us his business card. Yeah, yeah. So he found it. Cause we struck up a conversation with him. They like hire somebody and this guy's j- only job is to just sit outside all night before the shoot and put up traffic cones so oh, that wow. like nobody will take the parking right, space. Right, 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 right. Which is like a in new, shooting in New York, you need someone to yeah, totally. Like a, it's called yeah, a so park, that's parking so coordinator. This guy it sounds has, illegal, right? You no, just, it's not. No, you, you get permits, permits from, from the city streets. Oh, okay, okay, but okay. the way the permits work is that they don't say that you can't park there. It just allows you to hold the parking <laughs> space. Gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. if somebody wanted to come and take that parking space, they could. Gotcha. Um, and that's why you have like a cone guy. So this guy's business is he owns the. <laughs> He's the cones guy. Yeah. He just owns the, cones. He, the business. Well, he, he shows t- us his his business card, and it says Extreme Parking on it. <laughs> Jose Extreme Parking. Yeah, and it took everything I had not to like. That's incredible. I was like, Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have to go. They to have the a bathroom. website. I found the website. I have to take it really? for yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so he's like bragging to us. We're like, yo, so like, are the parking guys in New York like union? Like, that's what you ask every job on a film shoot. It's like, are you yeah. union or not? Right, because right, that's right. like, you know an easy conversation starter and he's like hell no dude never going union I'm never going <laughs> union bro he's like yeah man I raised like six kids I raised like six nine. kids nine, nine. I raised you exaggerated nine in the wrong direction on that. <laughs> yeah yeah that's crazy yeah. he's like I raised nine kids um, last year extreme parking made $85,000 <laughs> And like split between me no, no. and my five guys. Well, we asked him. We asked him. He was like, I made $90,000 last year. And I was like, that's pretty good. Is that before or after tax? He's like, well, it's split between me and my, my like eight guys. <laughs> I'm like, that's no money. Yeah. <laughs> you made no money. <laughs> He's no way I'm going children. union, man. Yeah. No way I'm going union, bro. <laughs> I've raised nine kids on this. That's so fucking On this funny. parking game. Yeah. Holy shit. No, what jobs. is he feeding those fucking kids, dude? I don't know, man. But production is the funniest job for meeting those kinds of people. Oh, it's the best. The other, the other extra, I did extra work on Blue Bloods. Oh, one yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom great. Selleck? Did you see Tom Selleck? No, but I saw Donnie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. I saw Donnie. Oh, and there was this fucking guy there. This older black dude who was like in his like mm, probably he was probably in his early sixties. Okay, and um, you know he clearly had taken elocution lessons <laughs> or at least knew how to approximate them because you know he's like always had his fucking eyebrows vaulted, you know, <laughs> like speaking in a you know very like erudite way or whatever. But then bull about bullshit. It was right, always right, bullshit. Right. And, uh, like, the minute I saw this guy when we're sitting and holding, I'm like, I'm going to listen to every word this guy has to say. Yeah. For, uh, also, a lot of the extras, <laughs> they have their own cop outfits because they do extra work so much. They oh, wow. Just, they go and buy New York police officer <laughs> outfits. I come with my uniform. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what they do because it's like you can get a job as, like... Uh, you know, a, yeah. uh, the guy that's permanently a police officer on the background of like CSI or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So we're there and he finds this girl. Um, I forget her name. We'll call her Gabby. And she was like younger, like kind mm. of attractive, but not TV attractive. You know, <laughs> like, or she's like, yeah, I'm trying to become an actress. You know, right, like, that's right, what right. I want to do is I want to be an actress. Mm-hmm. And it's like. You know, I mean, whatever. She's 19, so yeah, yeah. she has time to she's like figure out that you know she's don't do that. She's not going to be an actress. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this Lawrence guy immediately hones in on her because it's someone that he can spew all of his bullshit oh, to. Oh God. And uh, you know, like I'm trying to remember a couple of the hits, but you know, there was a good one in there where he's like, uh, you know, I mean, I I I show up on these sets and I, you know I'm ready to go, you know, and I, I <laughs> the one time they say to me, Lawrence, you know. We need you to move up, and we need you to speak a couple of lines in this one. And I say, I'm ready. I can do that. You know? <laughs> uh, but they uh, they give me just my sides, and I say, well, I'm going to need the whole script. I need to understand my character's motivations. Oh what is he feeling God. in this situation? You know, <laughs> like, and the line is like. Yeah. Um, has has anybody sandwich. seen the coffee maker? You know, yeah, like, yeah, oh, she yeah, just pokes yeah. her head in or whatever. Yeah, it's never. They went any- that way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, I need to know my motivations. And then, you know, it's like everything's like uh, just filled with all this like bitterness. There's like a, a, a subtext of, 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 you know, jealousy and anger. And there's one time he was like, I just heard him and he's talking to her. He's like, and I told her, you know, you know, I mean, next time you're going to be working for me. I'll be producing on the next one. I'll be directing. You know, you're going to be working for me. So, you know, no, you can't talk to me that way. 
<laughs> was, uh, I forget who said the line, but my, one of my favorite lines is, uh, I'm going to show them who's never been boss. <laughs> yeah. And I think that applies. I think that applies to Lawrence. But so he's going off about, you know, the whole time. One time he's saying, uh, you know, I've been here since season one. I've been working here on this project together for, since season one. It's like, you know, you've just been booked as an extra. <laughs> yeah. For seven years. <laughs> yeah. On oh, Blue Bloods. Yeah, yeah, on Blue Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> the show with 19 granddads where everyone has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> the mustache granddad show. Uh, yes, yeah, no, you know what? So it's like Tom Selleck is supposed to play the major, uh, the patriarch on that show. Yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. this like cop granddad, and then his son like has a son. So he's like the great, he's the granddad. Right. And then Tom Selleck's dad is on the show too. So there's another grandpa. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Really? There's like, it's there's like that wow. many grandpas? Nine generations of Irish cops. But the guy who plays Tom Selleck's father on the show is only like three years older than Tom <laughs> yeah, Selleck in real yeah. life. Because <laughs> that, that math shit. doesn't make any fucking sense. But so yeah. after like a whole day of Lawrence going off about how much, you know, everybody loves him or whatever. He's talking, he's like, you know, me and Donnie have been working on this project for years together. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg shows up. You know, nobody's seen Donnie yet. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's Donnie Wahlberg. And he walks by and Lawrence sees him and he goes, good morning, Donnie. <laughs> and Donnie Wahlberg takes one look at this man and goes, been seeing too much of you around here, Lawrence. <laughs> and just walks away. <laughs> Been I'm seeing like, too much. Oh, of yeah, you. yeah, yeah. He was completely <laughs> oh, my annoyed. God. And then he goes, uh, he like turns <laughs> to that girl and he's like, "We play games with each other." <laughs> we, we like to joke around with each other. <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. Okay. So if we're talking about like career extras, <laughs> I feel. I mean, Tommy Myers is coming up again. Have you guys seen his acting reel? It's the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. His acting reel. It's the incredible. absolute best. He's like, like in the investigation discovery. Yeah, shows. It's like yeah, he's yeah. a priest uh, and like an investigation he discovery. He looks surprised. He looks like he learned emotions from like uh, emojis. Yeah. <laughs> he learned how to react to things. Whoa. From, okay, well, I'm supposed to have dollar signs in my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is the dollar sign tongue emoji all about? I, put your money where your mouth is, dude. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, it took me years to figure that I, out. Yeah, that's. That's incredible. Yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you, man. So, um, so, Tom, your motivation in this scene is uh, I want you to imagine that your character is confused. He's just been hit with all this information about this missing girl. I, it's almost like I want you to imagine that you've just had like a bong hit transplant. <laughs> like that's, that's what you're doing in this scene. <laughs> Is it just a, okay? So Tom, you're so this you're is in just, the hospital, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you're in the hospital. You just had a bong hit transplant. <laughs> and then, the EKG is beeping yeah. next to you. Okay, so there Tom, were complications this, during your bong hit uh, transplant. Yeah. Tom, I, I, first of all, thank you for uh, being a part of the reboot of West Wing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. So basically, in this scene, you know, it's a walk and talk scene, and you are there next to Madam President, <laughs> and you're walking down the hallway of the West Wing, and. Uh, and then you know you have to eat her pussy <laughs> if you can do that for us Tom she wants to get revenge on Bill <laughs> Tom I want you to imagine okay so pretend like you've smoked pot before <laughs> imagine you're Paul Revere and you're on pot <laughs> I think the British are coming, dude. <laughs> the British are coming, man. <laughs> so the the Brexit. What do you guys? Think? Oh, of course. Oh, Bray she. Zabreshi? Well, man, it's just, you know, one I don't of those know. Things. That's one of those things I didn't fucking pay attention to. And they then, said like, they were going to do it, and and they did it. I, was, yeah. I, I look at my friends reacting to it on Twitter. I'm like, I guess I'm supposed to be mad about this. I don't, <laughs> yeah. fucking, I don't even know what the EU is, really. I just thought it meant you don't have to get a work visa if you want to, like, work yeah. in yeah. It's France easier. Yeah, or it's whatever. Easier to go to France. But that doesn't apply to me. It doesn't mean shit to me. I think it does feel like. Too much shit that's like a little weird is happening recently. Like I could, this could be just some. This happens and then some fucking. There's a skirmish. You think like it, a Trump, like some some fucked up. I feel like I don't know. It. This is the first time I've been like, that's weird. That's a fucked up. I'll just say the worst thing. part of the Brexit for me is my dad called me four times on Saturday. Your dad morning calls you about everything though with Brexit puns, <laughs> oh. and it was like I was I was living in an absolute eternal hell. Damn, dude, terrible. That must suck yeah. having a loving father, yeah. bitch. <laughs> dude. This bitch has a good relationship with his parents. Well, uh -huh. what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? That's the first time you think like, oh fuck. Now I'm calling it you. It was my it. dad's birthday yesterday. That's hilarious. 
I gotta call my fucking father. Shit. How old is he? I, dude, I could not tell you. I think he's Jesus 60. Christ, man. Come on. You can't even eyeball it or... He's 63? That makes sense. That's like 62? my dad's age. My dad's turning 65 this month. My dad's like 63, 64. All right, let's see. I'm 27. He was 35 when he had me. 64, right? 60. No, that doesn't make 62. sense. 62. Because my dad was like 36 when I was born, and he's like 63. 62. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'll say. Your dad's got to be a year younger than my dad. Okay. Because I'm older than you. Yeah, but my dad could fuck your dad's bitch ass up, dude. What if What if me, my dad and your dad like kissed back in elementary school? <laughs> <laughs> what if they practiced kissing on each other and that's how they met our moms? Dude, that's probably what, what if happened. We, <laughs> what if we parent trap all three of our dads to be gay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we could be real brothers. <laughs> your dad would... I feel like your dad would be a bottom. My dad's Yo, a check top, this out. What if your our dad's, dad's a top? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad's a maricon. My dad was it's a hoppy, maricon. Dude. Maricon. My dad is a maricon. <laughs> Your yeah. dad's a fucking cop. My dad's a my dad's a Wachowski. <laughs> <laughs> The worst <laughs> joke. A little wig on him. Throw, yeah. throw a dreadlock wig on him. <laughs> the worst <laughs> joke pitch I ever got from him. I was like, he called like four times. I called him back, and he's like, "Comedy is over. Comedy is over." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He's like. His name is Wiener, and he showed his Wiener. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go. I have to go. That is a pretty good Leave bit. Leave <laughs> me alone, please. <laughs> what happens to dads that they just become horribly fucking unfunny? Yeah, after, even like, like professional comedian dads. Yeah, like at like sixty-five. Like I don't know what no, happens. It. Once, as soon as you become a father, the two things happen: you stop being funny. And uh, you you start having to scream when you yawn. Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't understand what that is. <laughs> why you can't just fucking yawn That's like a normal so person. Fun. Yeah, you just start screaming <laughs> <laughs> like a deaf person having an orgasm. <laughs> Take that. You guys are lucky though that. Sorry to make this Jew again, Let's but your it. dads don't go through one of those like make like just getting obsessed with Israel things. Like, just getting angry and shouting at you about Yeah, but Israel. everybody's dad's racist about something. Well, your guys' dads get into cool stuff, like trains and stuff, right? Yeah, no. yeah my dad's into trains. My dad's, like, <laughs> really? my dad, like, developed autism at age, like, 61. His, really? his wife took him to, like, a train museum for his birthday a couple years ago, and he's, like, trying to show me a train video on his, like, phone, <laughs> oh and I almost God. had to go cry. Oh, my God. I was God. like, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Dude. What's happening? You, my father became a crazy cat man. Yeah, this man. Mother, I'm not even kidding, dude. This fuck. So he's got. He's a carpenter. He's got his own like fucking yeah, yeah. place. And I went in there to visit him, dude. There was at least fifteen cats. <laughs> just he just had fucking. Is it all huge, Greek dudes? Huh? Is it all Greek dudes working at the spot? It's just his fucking spot. So it's, it's just like, him. It's you just know who him. did that? Hemingway. Your dad's like Hemingway. Yeah, yeah maybe cool, he'll dude. fucking shoot himself. Shoot in himself head, in dude. the face. And yeah, here's open. Yeah, <laughs> and get all that cat money, dude. Yeah, I could get. I could fucking uh, inherit all inherit those cats. His debt. Dude, he- Hemingway was so dumb. Dude. They, why? Why do people like Hemingway? Hot take. I don't know. Hot take. Alert. I've never enjoyed his writing. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm incredible. I went to Africa and I murdered an animal. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna write a fucking whole story <laughs> about people. Are yeah. gonna be like, oh, this is incredible. Have you ever this read guy that? went to Africa and he murdered an animal. You know that short story? The, the what is it? The short symbol life of Francis. Uh, McComer is that Hemingway it's a Hemingway short no, story right. that's like the most like like Pua MRA thing <laughs> yeah, I've ever yeah, read really <laughs> yeah so the story is like this guy goes to Africa with his hot wife to like <laughs> hunt a lion but then there's this just fucking big dick swinging like hunter that's already there that like has to take them out into the field and this guy's like a stuck up like you know he cuts him no nah, well yeah <laughs> he does. So they go out to, you know, to hunt and he like takes his like, you know, disaffected, you know, uh, like disillusioned wife out into the field with him so she can watch him do a safari or uh-huh. whatever to, uh, to like want to fuck him again. And, yeah. And they go out. Well, not at this point in the story, they're just sort of like in a, you know, a malaise. So they're like right. upper middle class people or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, we're going on safari mm-hmm. and they go out into the, into the, you know, the field or whatever. And there's like a rhino or something, and the guy tenses up and he can't shoot the rhino. He's like a coward about yeah, it or whatever. Person. He's a bitch. And the hunter has to save him. Ooh. And the hunter saves him. And then there's like the next scene is like the guy's in his tent at night and he hears his wife go like fuck mm. the other guy. What? Yeah, and he just sits there like all mad while the wife's like fucking the other guy. And then she comes back 
And he's like all pissed off. He's like, I can't believe you fucking did that or whatever. <laughs> so the next day they go out and there's a fucking lion, dude. And he's like, I'm going to kill that lion. And he goes out and even the hunter's like, don't do it, man. You know, like, don't kill the lion. And he like goes out in the field and then he like shoots once and shoots twice and he's missing or whatever. And then finally there's like um, one last shot and he like the lion drops, but he drops too. And the wife had like stood up and she shot like him in the back of the head. And so oh. like, he became a man, but then his fucking bitch wife <laughs> killed him anyway. Just sucked Stupid. off the guy. Stupid. Bitch. Stupid. Yeah. That uh, sounds like some pretty relatable. That sounds. Literature. I mean, that sounds just, a lot like that old joke. Where like, it, yeah, just like imagine Hemingway sitting at his like fucking typewriter, being yeah. like, and then that fucking cunt, <laughs> yeah. and then here's what she did, and not me. I got a fucking uh, hard six and a half. That's average, dude. That's fucking average. No one can tell you it's not average. Average means good. <laughs> Yo, the, you know that old joke though about the guy that goes to Africa to kill the lion. No, so is it poor, uh, poor old? He thinks it's a Cadillac. Is it that one? No, no, no. He goes oh. out to kill the lion, and and he sits back and he, he unloads. He unloads on like, bang, 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 bang. The dust settles. The lion's the lion's still standing there. He, and the lion goes up to him and he's like, um, you know, you missed me, so I'm gonna give you a choice. Like either you, uh, I'm gonna eat you, or you can suck my dick. So he's like, all right, I'm going to suck your dick, right? Yeah. And then the next, the next, you know, season, whatever, he goes out, he sees the same line, bang, 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 dust settles. He's like, you missed me. You're going to have to, I'm going to eat you or you're going to have to suck my dick. And then like the third season, obviously, yeah, he's like out there and he's like, uh, yeah, um, the line like comes up to him and he's like, he's seeing his life flash before his eyes and he look, looks him square in the eyes and he's like, you must really like sucking my dick. <laughs> That's, my grandfather told me that. Shit. <laughs> that I don't, that doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense. I thought the punch was going to be something like uh, you want to just skip it. I don't know. I don't know what. But I thought that was like a very well known old joke. That's like no, no. I've never heard that. My grandfather told me that joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. That was like there used to be a joke about his wife or something. Like a genie when I was like in middle oh, yeah, school. Yeah, and it, didn't, yeah. it was like what was you it? get two wishes. The first one was like I want to suck another guy's dick. That's what Mike asked for. That's like the punchline is like somebody being gay being gay yeah. yeah but there's a genie involved oh yeah oh, i remember there was uh there was a fucking yeah i there was a, another one where it was like a gorilla it's like we'll give you they told this poor zookeeper we'll give you uh eighty thousand dollars to f- get fucked in the ass by this gorilla and he's like or he's like for eighty thousand dollars get fucked in the ass and he's like all right i'll do it but uh you're gonna have to give me some time to come up with eighty thousand dollars and it's like that was like a fucking <laughs> joke i used That's to tell on joke. buses on, on that one uh uh r.i.p oh, you can't you gotta plug that i'm sorry man i miss you so fucking much man. god damn it every day it's getting a little better it's but it's been a long day oh, without dude. you my <laughs> friend <laughs> um sorry. well I think we got this is a good first chunk. What do you want to do? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. We're, I mean, we we can just go through. We don't you need to go have, through. Yeah, well, we'll we have. Doing. I got to pee. Oh, you got to pee. Okay, then we'll take a break and then we'll okay. come back. Is there anything else we wanted to riff on before you guys got any zingers in there over the last? I just uh, I, I the Brexit, dude. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I can't get over it. Yeah, I, how about this? Boris Johnson uh, looks like fucking Trump. Yeah. Huh? yeah, they got the same hair. Huh? He looks like Boris Becker, dude. Uh oh, uh, Becker, <laughs> good show. <laughs> Ted Danson, that blind guy, Brexit, dancing, Becker, Johnson. We made it. We, we brought it all full suckle. Uh, and uh, you know who uh, else was on Cheers? Um, with Ted Danson was Fraser. Fraser from earlier, which, which yes. we also mentioned. In I'm the show. gay, Niles. We fuck aliens. Uh, it's so funny how callbacks work. I know how this fuck like a comic will be on stage in forty five minutes in their act. They'll be like, "Egg sandwich, anyone?" And be like, ah! "He said that twenty five <laughs> minutes ago." Why do you think? I think legitimately it's because like it's the same reason that roasts work, right? Because everyone laughs when you're making fun of a celebrity because it's like a common experience. Yeah. Like hating Justin Bieber is something that we all feel or something. Supposedly, I don't give a fuck yeah. about Justin Bieber. Yeah. So that yeah, it's like oh yeah, we shared that joke twenty minutes ago. That's yeah, why I we, think I, honestly, I think it honestly is just like the first time that happens, it's fucking weird and funny, so you laugh, and then 
if you have two jokes that have the same punchline, mm-hmm. it's a funny coincidence. So it's like, oh, this that's funny. But now people just like. I think plan he's it. right. I think it has to do with like the communal aspect yeah. or whatever. You know what? I think that's why like a lot of like why newer comedy or stuff online that's like you can't really understand the structure of it. Like what makes Sam Hyde so funny? Mm-hmm. Right. Why that can't appeal? Why you could never do that on stage just because it's like necessarily individual there's no like right. community there it's just like one guy's fucking weird personality all right. comedy like on the internet like memes is like do be comedy like not like joint but like yeah, yeah people do be like that <laughs> oh you know? my god yeah, yeah. teachers do it's be all like formulas that. you yeah, can yeah. just plug in whatever you want yeah, yeah. Right because like it. oh that time when the teacher looking at you and you like you know it's all like oh yeah that's just i hate when the teacher be yeah, looking yeah. at me. when i was like 17 um, me and my friend Brendan used to hang out with like these kids that we just hated. We like didn't like any <laughs> of them. course. And one, like I wasn't there for it, but Brendan was telling me about it. Like one of them was like showing everyone on his laptop this picture of uh, it's like SpongeBob SquarePants, but his eyes are all red <laughs> and he's got a bong and like pot leaf behind him. And it's you know it's like Sponge Bong hemp pants, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sponge Bong weed pants. <laughs> And they're dying laughing. <laughs> and this one kid goes, uh, oh, man, I got to show my dad this. <laughs> <laughs> my dad will love this, dude. <laughs> it's like, dad sucks, man. That's like worse than if you, he was just like, yeah, my dad molested me when I was a kid. It's on par with that. Is that how much of a slip up My dad up loves that proto memes. <laughs> my dad loves sponge bong weed pants. Dude, I can't believe David Cameron fucked up so bad, guys, in that Brexit. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. How did he? Fuck it. Wait, how do you go from directing it, Titanic? Didn't he fuck a pig in the mouth? Didn't that come out a couple years ago that he fucked a pig's mouth? Is that what Black Mirror was about? I think Black yeah. Mirror might have like. Made some allusion to it, no, or, or maybe that even came out after Black Mirror. That when he was at Cambridge or Oxford or whatever, he was in some like secret oh, society yeah. where you he had to right. fuck a pig in the mouth. He did, and then that just went away, and he was, was allowed lo- to continue being the prime. Do you see the speech where he said sorry and then quit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty well, funny though. To be like, all right, well, fuck that's you pretty guys. good. That's on par with Nixon's. Just like that know, was awesome. See ya, the see ya. The peace yeah. signs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He Nixon, literally peace. Out. Trolled on his way out. It was yeah. awesome. That was the best thing he's ever done. Yeah. His fucking jowls shaking. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Ah, uh, are any Jews gonna be at the party? I don't want Jews at the party. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that the book with all the transcripts in it? Well, we were gonna do that as. Oh a, yeah, we yeah, were gonna we do, we do that podcast. Strand, yeah, we were gonna do a Nixon secret tape podcast. That's fun. Where we'd get like people to like play Kissinger and like whatever. Yeah, hey, that's not bad. And we, we could do just that. do excerpts from the tapes. We it's, could do little. And it's like bits. how that goes from being like you know it'd be a funny idea to actually being something. I it's don't hard. Know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we, we, come, we try to come guy. up with bits and we do them, and it's like all right, that was a minute and twenty. Two seconds long, and I uh, used three racial slurs. So I guess we're cool gonna have to delete. Nah, we'll yeah. get back, dude. We got some great character work in the past. I mean, this is this will be the rest of this. There will be no character work yeah. for sure. No one will be doing any characters, but we've done in the past some pretty good character stuff. I think there so. are a couple characters that I think we've done on this podcast. Yeah, so I think. I hope uh, Lauren Michaels isn't listening. Yeah, Lauren. Lauren is listening. Uh, yeah, we came up with Doctor Evil. <laughs> That's <was laughs> one. Benny. We wrote. We wrote Doc Evil. Hey, it's me, the Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, That's our other character. Is the Family Guy. Oh, so. Lois. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm trying to eat a sandwich. I'm freaking a fat guy. I'm a freaking fat Family Guy. And I want a sandwich over here. A freaking sandwich. Is that it? It's it's a good man. Is Family Guy guy gay? Is I'm he gay. gay. Oh, yeah, well, totally. McFarland, absolutely. Stewie. And I feel like he's one of those gay guys that like feels like he missed the opportunity to come out of the closet. So he just really likes musicals. Well, he's just like you, I feel like that's probably a problem that gay guys have now, where it's like. You had a window to come out of the closet. Now you're just old, and you're like, everybody like already figure. assumes yeah. I'm gay. I don't yeah, know yeah. if I should say anything yeah. or, or what. That was right after, uh, right when the Orlando shooting happened. Uh, the Matilda girl. Uh, oh yeah, Mara, yeah, yeah. Mara Wilson was like posting on Facebook. She's like. By the way, guys, I'm queer. I don't know if you know that. She like used that day to be like, I'm uh, I'm queer, not gay, queer, which just yeah. means that like you know, Years. I got my hair cut Sometimes, too short one yeah. time. Exactly. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> oh man, I was at Pride the other day, and nice. I saw you know what I love sucking off guys. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's Pride, dude. Not oh. Prude. It's Pride. <laughs> you gotta have fun, Damn, man. Fleet Week. Uh, Fleet Week is a real pride. That's the Let's real pride. Honest. That's real pride. Yeah, that is. Those are the most prideful men. <laughs> semen outfits. Yeah, they're called semen. They're there, literally called there semen. There has to have been a hat comic that made a joke about like people thinking that it's like white pride or whatever, right? Uh, no, but not, I'll take it. I, don't okay. I call that one. All right, that's yours. That's all Thanks, yours. man. You guys see these Donald Duck racists out here? <laughs> they're all dressed like Donald Duck and they're white supremacists. Uh, so... <clears throat> yeah, no, I was at Pride, and there's, you know, like, it's all, like, people that are naked or whatever, and they're, like, yeah. kissing mm-hmm. each other. It's, like, ex- like yeah, expressing yeah, yeah. sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And I swear to God, I was walking down the street, and in the middle of, like, the parade, and I'm, like, one of those, like, East or West 10th, there's a fucking, like, probably homeless older black lady, like, in her, like, you know, early 70s, rail thin, you know, like, kind of like a, an emaciated crack yeah, body. C- correct. And she's in a wheelchair, and she's got her, like, jeggings pulled down over her, like, you know, the diameter of her legs was mm-hmm. probably, like, four inches each. It's, like, bean pole Jesus legs. Christ. Uh, and she's got her, her jeggings pulled down. She's masturbating with both hands. <laughs> and oh. she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> Oh my fucking god! And she's fucking just rubbing her pussy, and everyone's just trying to ignore it, <laughs> like shielding their eyes and trying to ignore it. Like, why doesn't she have her own float? This is, <laughs> yeah. this is what should, this should be in the parade. That's can we get so her? Great. Can she she's be the grand marshal? <laughs> This is the the most powerful display of sexuality of anything here. What, we're supposed to be proud of some fucking hot 20-year-old girl with pasties on her perfect tits? Yeah. yeah, yeah. To give this woman a fucking TV show. Some please. ripped jarhead guy with, like, ultimate warrior, like... Yeah. Like... Rubber tassels. bands around tassels, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, that, I love that too because she's probably just beating off to all the gay dudes. Oh yeah, that's what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was just staring at all these men and masturbating. Just looking so. incredible. I got a piece of that. All right, we're gonna take a break and then we'll, we got a real sweet treat for you after break. Uh, ooh, we better think of something. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. see you guys. The day after tomorrow. A time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with one. I've got a little cosmetic fine tuning. He'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one. Activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system. A lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets. Folks, the boys are back in town. Brockman Turner Overdrive. uh, Live in studio. Uh, But some sad news. All right, I guess I'm just going to abandon... Oh, I'm sorry. You guys got nothing for that? I wasn't going anywhere with that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> it was Thin Lizzy that sang that song. Well, Boys Are Back in Town? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Yes. yes is it? it is. Oh, it is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Fucking Bitch. Ireland's own. Yeah. Look, dude, we're all a little frazzled. We just had some. Uh, yeah, no, we got terrible news. Terrible um, news. Um, guys, we found out, uh, you know... <sighs> And I know this is going to, you know, be weird, uh, you know, like tonally. Before you say anything, can you just like be responsible, like be like honor, honor what we're about to say, like do it with honor and not no jokes. And yeah, I won't make any jokes, I guess. I mean, I do feel partially responsible. I guess I was kind of mean to him, but it was like a freak accident. But Seth Dickfield, who you guys may or may not know, I, he's come on the podcast sometimes <laughs> We've had Have you of, met him? Um, no, actually, I haven't. Um, but we've had like sort of like a, I guess you know like like a, you know like a, an intense you know back and forth. I guess mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, I was a little annoyed that he came on my show and he caused you know some grief with like another guy I know, a good friend of yours. Sure. Yeah, a guy that I'm you know I'm pretty good friends with that I've known for years. Just uh, guy. Well, I mean, we've known each other for ten years. You know, since he was like about thirty. He's he's near forty now. So that's how long I've known him, is that he's almost 40 years old now. Um, but, uh, yeah, Seth Dickfield, unfortunately, was he was on vacation in Europe um, last week, and he, he was visiting Auschwitz, 
uh, just to see the sights and take it in. And he slipped on a banana peel and cracked his head open on one of those novelty oh. penny smashing machines. Oh no! And he died. He's I can't. I can't deal with this, man. And I know it sounds like that's a very funny way to die. Yeah, especially considering he's not even Jewish. He's not. But it's go. it's the actual way he died. I know that like like that guy the from Star Trek that died. You know, like everyone was pretty chill about not making jokes about. <laughs> The ridiculous way. <laughs> yeah. Like, Don't laugh at it, dude. I'm sorry. Up, There's man. nothing funny about Anton Yelchin being crushed by his Jeep while trying to check his mail <laughs> by driving over himself. There's nothing funny about yeah, it's this. It's not funny. I can't do this, man. This, and it's this... not funny to that there is a steakhouse <laughs> themed... <laughs> There's a there's a Holocaust themed steakhouse. That's not funny. It's not funny that Seth was there and that yeah. guys. I can't. This tone is well, too light. I can't do this, man. I don't want to disrespect the dead. Well, I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm, luckily, I'm luckily we have uh, we have someone here to you know send Seth off. Oh no, yeah. Oh, uh, what's up, <laughs> everybody? Please welcome Ralph Ralph Arowski, <laughs> Seth Dickfield's cousin. <laughs> My beautiful cousin Seth, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the saddest day of my fucking life since the O's lost to the fucking Kansas City Royals in the fucking AL Championship Series. <laughs> yeah, they, the fucking good ones always go early, yo. You know, um... That's true. The good ones always go early. The good ones, the, al- the good ones always go early. The good ones? The, the good ones, ones, yo, please do not the- fucking antagonize me right now, yo. I just lost he's my fucking grieving. baby cousin, yo. Nick, I will not have this right now, yo. He's grieving. I'm grieving, yo. What are the fucking seven stages of grief? Fucking sadness. Denial. Beating up a fucking Jew that talks to you funny. You know what I mean, buddy? And right now, I'm getting close to number three right now, okay? I'm sorry, Let me mourn I'm sorry, my Ralph. fucking cousin, yo. I'm sorry, Ralph. We're here for you. Yo, I don't know, dude. It's tough, man. This is tough now. My family, now we got to find a new gay cousin to make fun of, yo. <laughs> yo, I think it's going to be my cousin Mark who cried during 9-11, you know. Um, you know, that's not the kind of family we are, yo. We are vengeance family, yo. We find some Sikhs and we beat them up afterwards. We don't fucking cry about that shit. So Mark is, but it could be, you know, it could be who knows, man. Is there is there going to be a funeral for Seth? Yeah, there's going to be a funeral. Um, We're going to... um. <clears throat> We're going to um, stuff his body up into a uh, crab cake. And we're Are gonna, you getting him taxidermied? Yeah, we're going to get him taxidermied, and we're going to actually, um, we're going to put him just in the den, uh, in Uncle Mark's den, where uh, it was his favorite place to visit. And we're just going to, we're going to put Steeler, put a Steelers jersey on him, and we're going to give him the finger just for like full time's <laughs> sake. Um, that's how we want to remember him. As uh, a guy we fuck with. <laughs> was he a big Steelers fan? Um, no. No, he wasn't. We would actually hold him down and we would toss Steelers memorabilia onto him. And yeah. then we would send him out into uh, uh, we would send him out into the streets of Baltimore. And we would tell people he loved the Steelers. And then people would commit acts of hate uh, against him. And also yeah. we would tell them he was gay. <laughs> and Could um, you... I mean, I know it's tough in a tragedy like this that you didn't... You obviously feel like you were robbed of the opportunity ro- to absolutely. say goodbye and to say, yeah. If you could say something to Seth right now, like, what what would you say? I would say, Seth, yo, don't be doing no gay shit in heaven, yo, because I'm about to be up there and I'm about to be finger popping some bitches. And if they hear, if Marilyn Monroe hears that I got a gay fake Jew cousin, yeah. <laughs> That might fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's who you're so, going for in heaven, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. This, um, yeah, this fucking uh, cross-eyed black girl from uh, Dundalk High School that was killed in uh, junior year. Uh, <laughs> oh. Her name was Marilyn. Is there a different Marilyn? Monroe? Yeah, yeah. She sucked my dick out back behind a Mars once while I was eating fucking burger cookies. Oh, you're. <laughs> You know, you go back for doubles. Yeah. So I'm going back. So don't be fucking my shit up with Marilyn. I know she got that good heaven body up there now, Seth. What do you think Seth would do if he had one more day on this earth? Honestly, yo, I think he would probably get on Grinder and then message <laughs> a guy and then uh, be about to meet up and then uh, delete his account real quick because he realizes he's still in the closet and it would be tough. <laughs> 
He didn't know what he would do if anybody ever found out he was gay. I think if he had one last time on this earth. Do you think? Do you think Seth would get bullied off of Grinder, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I could see that definitely going. Down. Someone might. Someone might make fun of Seth on Grinder, and he has to delete his account. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see that because he got PTSD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gotten PTSD before you. Um, but but you gave it to him. You gave, him, gave him PTSD him. by by yeah. teasing him. Well, yeah. well, that's how that's how that's what family does, yo. That's so, the kind of family we was, yo. But. So I, um, I actually, when I heard the news about Seth, I reached out to my friend who lives in Silicon Valley. He's an app developer. Oh my god! And so he just Seth this, loved gay shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he developed, um, he developed an app. Oh yeah. That it's basically. They can create a facsimile of your loved one after oh they die. Oh my god! So you, you can just click on the Seth app. Oh my god! I got him to make a Seth one. Are you serious? So yeah? we're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hook Seth up to the soundboard right now. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you the opportunity to say goodbye. Oh my god! To your yeah. cousin. Yeah. Okay. Does, is you. that all right with you? If if you're not re- if that's weird if to you, ready. I don't. I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but um. Okay, so I'm gonna just click him in. I'm just gonna. Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. It's Seth. me. Yes. Hello. I'm not dead anymore. Seth is so good to fall. He's talk to inside you, the phone now. He's in a phone, yeah. Yeah. I live in the phone now, everybody. <laughs> oh my god! I can always have him in my pocket, yo. <laughs> Seth, yo. Hi, it's me, Seth. Seth, do you know how you died? I'm not dead anymore, everybody. <laughs> Seth, yo, one big ass question, yo. Are what? these coins in the lost and found for anyone? <laughs> Seth, listen to me, yo. I'm trying to ask you a serious fucking question, yo. Hello, it's me, Seth. Seth. I'm not dead anymore. Seth, you fucking little slut. Shut the fuck up, yo. Yeah. Oh my god, yo. Yo, have you seen my coupon for half off steakums or, or what, yo? Can I bring my own coupons? <laughs> Yo, this fucking app sucks, yo. This is some more you Yeah, fucking I don't know. They... Hi, it's me, Seth. I'm not <laughs> dead anymore. This is, yo, honestly, I'm oh, tired man. of this shit, yo. Fuck, it, you're ruining the fucking tone. Well, Adam. I think you're making a mockery of me and my I'm fucking family, I'm not making family, a mockery. Yo. I just thought it might be nice. I think you're nice. fucking my shit up I thought right it now. might be nice yeah, if dude, you could Adam, see your Adam, don't cousin. use that app anymore. Okay, just... I'm going to, all right. I thought it might be nice if you could see your cousin. No, again. that's disrespectful. I mean, even I wouldn't do that. Dude, don't you ever do that. I'm, I got half a mind to slap your ass over this fuck. You're lucky I respect Anthony Cumia in the studio too much to do that to you right now. But I feel like... <laughs> well, you better calm down because I'll tell you right now, everybody here in the Anthony Cumia studio has a concealed carry permit. Yeah, and I'm all well, all, all the way 100% up there with c- carrying your own fucking arms, yo. I think, honestly, I take my own gun, my gun to paintball, yo. We only got <laughs> we only got three amendments we care about here in the Anthony Cumia studio. Yeah, yeah. Number one, free speech. Number two, guns. Number t- 27, podcasting. <laughs> right to podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Listen, I think... I think we need to send stuff off, yo. I think we need to say goodbye. I think we need to. Well, luckily, um, beautiful we, ass piece of music. Seth left us a song um, that he wanted us to play, and we're gonna we're gonna end it on that note and let Seth himself take us out. I'll miss you, Seth, yo. R.I.P. Dickfield. R.I.P. You. We'll never <laughs> forget you. We'll miss you, Dickfield. Okay. Come town, episode eight. The I don't know. The, the eighth episode. That's what this one's gonna be called. Goodbye, Seth. I love you, yo. I fucking love you, yo. I'm sorry, yo. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Seth Dickfield. Hi, it's me, Seth. And now I am dead And I'll complain all about it when I see you again It's been a long day Fighting Republicans And I'll complain all about it to none of my friends I don't have any friends Goodbye everybody I've had a great time here on the podcast, uh, telling everyone about all my various uh, circumcisions and political opinions, and uh, 
It's been so much fun being woke, but I'm in heaven now. Uh, where you go if you're perfect like me and beyond criticism. You know, I, I know I've complained a lot about uh, the Bernie bros and, uh, and the MRAs, but, you know, we're all people. I, I don't remember exactly how this song goes, and I'm not looking at uh, the lyrics, so... Um, I just want to reiterate uh, that I'm dead now. I slipped on a, on a banana peel at Auschwitz, uh, uh, and my head hit, uh, oh, oh, geez, it hit one of these uh, penny machines. Oh, boy, and here comes the loud part of the song again. You know what I can't stand? Loud noises. Some of us have PTSD, folks. Some of us got PTSD from being teased as children. I was bullied relentlessly by my 32 older brothers who uh, all hit puberty before me. I have actually never hit puberty. I still don't have puberty. Now I'm up here in heaven with Harambe the gorilla and he's been having sex with me. He's been demanding sex and I have to give it to him because first of all, it's right to refuse sex uh, if you're a man and uh, also because he's stronger than me. With that, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye once and for all. And I don't know what... I don't remember this part of the song either. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.